Hey everybody, I'm Ebony. This is Ebony's Creativity. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Please subscribe if you have not already. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back to kick it with me. Today, I am going to be focusing this video on these floating shelves. I did a makeover on a bathroom for a client and I just love the way that these turned out. So I'm going to be focusing this video on these floating shelves. They were inspired by Shanty Too Chic. So you can check them out here on YouTube. Here are the supplies for this project. So if you want to recreate these, go ahead and screenshot this. Really simple to make. Very, very simple. So I'm going to start off with my 2x4s. I've already cut one piece. And so I just kind of use that piece as a template so that I can cut the rest of my pieces. It's more precise to measure each individual piece, but this method worked fine for this project so I'm just showing you what I did. This is going to be the support beams for my shelves so I did need three since I'm making three shelves here's what all three of those look like together. Alright I'm still using two by fours and I'm still working on the support beam and I am going to make three shorter pieces that connect as such one on each end and one in the middle and that will kind of make the supports for the shelf complete. So once I finish attaching these parts, I should have what looks like a capital letter E. And so I'm just going to measure this one out for the first time around. And then I'm going to do what I did in the previous portion and kind of use this one piece that I'm cutting as a template for the other two pieces that I need. For my purposes, I will be making nine of these. So now you can kind of see why I don't want to have to measure each time. But for your purposes, if you're only making one shelf, you'll just need three of these. So here you just see me using the one that I already cut, lining it up really well, ducking and dodging the bugs because they were on level 10 on this day. And um, just making sure before I start cutting. And that's just what I'm going to continue to do until I have nine of these. So at this point, I'm kind of doing some quality control. I've cut all the pieces. I've selected three random ones, and I'm kind of just making sure that they will work out and that they lay flat against the main longer board. So that's what you see me doing here. Up next, I'm moving on to cutting my plywood pieces. Again, same old, same old. I already cut a piece. Now I'm cutting another piece using that first one as a template. And as you can see, I need a larger work surface because when I cut long things, they crash to the ground. But working with what I have for now. So next, I'm moving on to my 1x6 pieces. And I'm just going to cut two of those per shelf. And those will make up the side of the shelf. I also cut longer 1x6 pieces, but I lost the footage of those. That will be like the front part of the shelf. Now we're moving on to assembly. You can kind of see in the background my Gorilla wood glue. And I'm just putting the two side 1x6 pieces onto one plywood piece. So I've glued, put a bead of glue down the side. And I'm going to reinforce that with my nail gun. If you don't have a nail gun, you can always hammer these. But that is going to be a lot of hammering. And these really need to be secure. So um, maybe you can borrow a nail gun from a friend or... Get to hammering, but you've got a lot of hammering to do. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to reinforce my glue with these nails. Go down both sides, and then this is the first piece that I'm left with. Here I flipped it over, and I'm doing the same thing to the other side. So now I'm just kind of giving it a once over and making sure everything looks good. Adding a few more nails just to make sure everything is secure so once those three sides are glued together and nailed this is what I have and now I'm going to work on attaching the bottom side to the shelf which is the other piece of plywood so I'm going to lay that part down grab my Gorilla Glue put some glue down each side of my plywood like such and you don't want to put too much glue because it will seep out and that's just more that you have to clean up. So I'm always kind of careful about adding 
glue and making sure I don't add too much. But anyway, if it does, just wipe it while it's still wet because this glue dries hard and when it's dry, it's kind of hard to remove. So now I'm just kind of fitting this, making sure everything will fit snugly. And then I'm going to grab my nail gun and kind of try to stand this up and put some nails in to one side to secure it and then next into the other side to secure that. And as I'm securing the final end, I'm making sure to push it really closely together. If you have another set of hands that will come in handy, uh, if you have someone to help you out, I don't. So I'm just doing my DIY thing by myself, like always. So um, if you have somebody that can help push it together while you nail it, that would be really helpful. But I don't, so I'm just doing the best I can to kind of push both sides together by myself and really get it to where it is securely fastened together. And so now you're seeing how that looks when it's completed. Next, I'm gonna take my two by four and just make sure that it fits inside the box before I go any further. I like to do quality control checks throughout my project because I don't wanna have to be starting over. So next, I'm going to pre-drill some holes so that I can attach the shorter two by four pieces onto this longer bracket piece. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to do three screws per piece. So on each piece, there will be nine screws total. But of course, once I assemble everything, if it appears to need more, then I will just add more screws. And I'm going to be using three and a half inch wood screws for this part of the project. And now I'm showing you kind of from all angles what this looks like once it has been completed. If you have a pocket hole jig, a Craig jig, that would be better than the method that I'm doing, but I don't, so I'm just doing this based off what I have on hand. Up next, I'm going to be taking my mineral paint by Waverly, and I'm going to put some paint on here. I did lose footage of me attaching the final side, which is a 1x6 side, but it was pretty self-explanatory. So just like the other sides, you'll put some glue down, place a piece of wood down, and then follow up with your nail gun. Next, I wanted to just make one quick note about installing these. And here is my bracket installed. It is super important that you get this into the studs. At least one stud, but aim for two. Because these shelves are very substantial and you wouldn't want them falling off the wall. So just make sure that you get a stud. I made sure to get mine into at least two studs. And I also used 100 pound drywall anchors to hang these up. And I'm just about ready to show you the final product, but before I do, I wanted to pop in and request that you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I do chit chat videos, thrifting hauls, home decor, DIYs, trash to treasures, I have it all here. So make sure you stick around to see more content from me. And without further ado, here are the final finished floating shelves. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. If you have the time, please select another one of my videos to watch from the choices on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.